and the other pieces. I mean, high. I hope you won rings, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but I think I think what I love about Zoo is almost his um, his demeanour as well. Yeah. Like he walks out like he's doing a basic routine, like it's nothing. He finishes it, bows to the, to, to the judges, and it's just like. Okay, I'm happy with that. And he's 24, 24 years old, and there was a lot... Actually, it's quite interesting looking at the age range within that back because there was 29-year-olds, 28-year-olds and what have you. Uh, but, just, but just to see how well he's sort of, you know, 24 years old. Yeah, I mean, I think Max said it all. It's, it's the fact that normally when a gymnast comes off, there's that motion of relief of, I've, yeah. I've done the difficulty and I've got through it the best I can. Whereas to him, it's kind of like... You, you tend to have a basic training routine when you're in the gym, and that almost looks like his basic training routine. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can see here the women are coming out now for the women's floor final. Rebecca Andrade, first out, she's the second highest qualifier. Naomi Visser, sixth highest qualifier. Alice D'Amato, the eighth highest qualifier. 19 years old. Oh, I'm sorry. Mag oh, we've got a lot of shake-ups here now. Maggio is in for Alice D'Amato. Jordan Childs coming out now. Jade Carey. Olympic floor champion is out. Great Britain's Jennifer Gadarova. The first of the twin sisters out, and then Jessica will follow. So the twins there rounding up the women's floor final. It's so busy here. I'm literally running from commentary back and forth. So I have no idea of the changes that are happening here. Um, so Sarajeva is out then, the highest qualifier. Goodness me, what a story. We knew that she competed on bars in the in the team final, but that's kind of all she did after qualification. So yeah. What's the word there? So she, we looked like it was on vault in qualification. She landed slightly short, was holding her foot. So during the team final, just did bars. I did see her warming up earlier on floor, so we presumed she was on the start list and it's been a really late change that um, she's now pulled out and Japan have gone in. And then D'Amato as well has pulled from Italy and Maggio, um, her teammate, was next in line yeah. to go in. So, um, yeah, it's nice that um, Maggio gets to, to get out there and perform. Now, that means, well, it'd be interesting yeah. to see what kind of mindset Jessica will be in knowing that. I know that she doesn't really like to watch any of the performers before her. She certainly doesn't like to know any of the scores. Um, you know, it, things will settle down because her twin sister Jennifer is going to go first, but she has posted the joint highest score as um, Andrade, which is 14.4, which they did in the all-round competition. So this is, this is potentially on here for a, a medal for Great Britain. Yeah, I mean, the scores that were posted in the all-around with Rebecca and Jessica, they were so close to each other, and th both of them performed to the best of their ability. So it is going to be down to who nails the landings today and the, the difficulty. As always, just one-tenth could pull you out of those medals. Yeah, well, there's a brief warm-up going on behind us, so let's hear from Jen and Jess, the Gadda Rovers. We're coming into this for the first time as double European floor champion. How does that sound? During these championships. She hasn't performed to her best in finals, so it would be great to see her do well here. Lovely full twist in front, up into full twist in double back. Such a difficult tumble. And here, Another huge tumble, puts the full twist into the double straight perfectly. Fabulous height on the lead. And just a bit of a hop on that spin. It's often the thing that catches her out. Sing the music. 
using beautifully. Another big tumble coming up. Oh, she peaks that double straight fantastically. Great height on these leaps. So we've had three huge tumbles. Here comes the fourth. Needs a clean landing or oh, just a couple of steps. Well, a fabulous routine. It's so expressive, so full of life. But uh, she did just give a tiny bit away on some of the landings. She did. She did. Wow. She was first up and has to lay down the gauntlet. But that is not unbeatable. It certainly isn't, but what a routine. Full of personality, so expressive. You just wanted her to get everything together in the apparatus finals. And there's a big tumble walk out into a full twisting double back somersault. That is really big, difficult work. And I absolutely love the choreography. We talked earlier about how a routine makes you feel when she steps onto the floor. It's one of those routines that puts a smile on your face. And look at the power here, accelerates. Sky high, double pipe back. Just those few little steps on landings will certainly leave opportunity. She has the ability to just make her work look so effortless and smooth. Yes, she's, she's very talented. I don't think she's working anywhere near her maximum difficulty, and that's why she can make it look easy. Well, it's the first of eight scores that we're going to see here as Naomi Visser will be next after the score comes in. Where around the 14 will it be? Is the question. The deduction on the spin will be quite a bit. It was quite unsteady. And I say quite a bit, 0.1, maximum 0.3, but you know, it, it will be a deduction. Under 14? We, it's difficult to say, a low 14, maybe 13.9. Well, you can hear a pin drop here in Liverpool while everybody's waiting for this score to come in because this is potentially <laughs> the benchmark for Jessica Gadarova. 13.733. Nowhere near what she's posted at these championships. Every score's been over 14. Naomi Visser, sixth highest qualifier, next. Very different style, very slight gymnast, very balletic. <laughs> this is a very impressive tumble, whip back, triple twist, punch front, very clean. smooth on that series of spins and that was very clean as well she's really built difficulty in that spin series super height on that leap very elegant lovely use of her body just a fairly simple double twist. Great extension through the feet, legs. Lovely arms. But she needs to do a double somersault. She hasn't done that yet. Needs to make a big power lift up in the air, double tuck. And that, for me, is going to be in and around that score of Andrade of 
3-3. Certainly one of the most graceful routines you will see in this final. Very difficult opening tumble. It's the whip back, triple twist, immediate punch front somersault. A little bit out of line from the diagonal, but so precise on the rest of the routine, the leaps, the spins, easily round in the double twist. A 5-6 on difficulty. So she's 0.3 down on Andrade here. Interesting, Andrade did a 6-1 in for qualification and only got a 5-9 mm. awarded, Christine. Yes, that's because she didn't get right round that spin. Once the heel drops of the foot you're standing on, they consider that the finish of the spin, so she didn't get right round the double spin. But this, this was a very classy performance and very much the type of performance using the whole body, telling a story that the judges, since the, uh, the end of the Olympics, you get a sort of review from the judges as to how they want the next cycle to be. And this is a big emphasis that we've had sent to us by the judging, the powers that be, that this is how it's going to be judged for this next four years. 13.733 is Andrade's score. Judges taking their time in this final. And I think they were saying there's an inquiry in for Andrade's floor. 13.666 for Naomi Visser. Just 0 0.067 behind Andrade and her score as it stands at the moment. Martina Maggio, the third gymnast to come in for a replacement of uh, Alice D'Amato. An opportunity here. I would say so, and um, she is their best, Maggio is really their best floor worker. Mm. It's at Italy, so they've replaced one gymnast with another and she's got a really very entertaining floor routine. But I guess we're waiting now until the uh, inquiry is settled. Martina Maggio. Maggio has the green light cleared to go. She will have her eyes firmly on a medal here. on the first spin. Powers down. Beautiful double straight. Sets the scene and the theme. Now here comes the big tumble. Straight from walkout to double pipe. and that's a very difficult lead. The Italian champion at the moment. We've had two big tumbles. And a third full twisting double back. Well, selling the routine so well, facial expressions. Here comes this important final tumble, beautiful double tuck. Well, she gave it all, very charismatic. Well, what a way to enter into a final, to be swapped in, third up, and that is going to be the score to beat.
Well, second reserve, and uh, talk about seizing the opportunity. We've seen that so much throughout this World Championships. And uh, you can see why she's the Italian champion. Look at the height there and the extension. Uses every centimetre of the floor. 12 metres square. And if you work out the diagonal, it's just under 17 metres. So they've really got to pack the power in and really close to the corner there, but uh, stayed well within. And for me, that routine had a bit of everything. Powerful tumble, bags of personality, and really did sell the performance, Christine. Yes, for sure, and I'm sure that's why Italy haven't really had a very happy championships. They dominated at the Europeans, and they really haven't been able to get themselves together in quite the same manner at this world. But uh, they'd be very happy to sneak a medal here. Just want to give you the heads up if you're watching us uh, on BBC One that in just over five minutes' time we're going to swap over to BBC Two for the second half of this floor final. I'll be after the warm up. So, um, yeah, just to get your uh, remote controls at the ready. That's in a little while. For five minutes. Time. Raji leading this competition on 13.733, but for how long is the question? Oh, it's not good enough to go into the lead, it's 13.533. Martina Maggio is third. This is a tentative way this for Andrade. Shoko Mayata of Japan in as a reserve another opportunity for her she's a national champion second at the asian championships as well all these gymnasts big opening tumble they set the scene with their opening tumble and such an efficient double straight two whips into two and a half but a little bit short on that landing A little out of control on the spin. Lovely, that's a great tumble, one and a half into front full. Really good height on the leaps, you can see how her head goes up. Good facial expression. She's worked hard on the dance. Double pike at the finish. Oh, Japan have been fantastic. That was a lovely floor routine. Just a little step back on the two and a half in the middle. <laughs> she said I wasn't expecting to compete today. <laughs> Yeah, won another one of the reserves. Yeah. Uh, into the final. I have to agree with Christine, they've been a sensation in this championships, the Japanese gymnasts. And there was just that little bit of a wobble in the two and a half, but the opening tumble, very stylish, showing great extension. Two somersaults in the straight position. Well, she got a silver on beam earlier on this afternoon which again was quite unexpected, so what a day she's having. There you can see the two and a half. She recovered actually quite well out of that. We've seen gymnasts fall, sit down, and then there was the other little error in the routine, just losing control in the double spin there. 
Yeah, she actually put her hands down. They probably won't take it as a fall, but uh, it will be a deduction. And a very emotional performance as well, Christine. You could see at the end of the routine what it actually meant to her. And I think from all these gymnasts, you can see they're really working with their body and face to make it a complete routine. Oh, you can see the emotion of what it means to have the opportunity of another medal, but wasn't to be, but silver on beam and a wonderful time and a great celebration here at these World Championships. 13.066 for Ayata Shoko. So we are at the halfway stage then of this women's floor final. Rebecca Andrade leads on 13.733, Naomi Visser 13.666, and Martina Maggio, who came in as a replacement, is currently in that third place spot of 13.533. The gymnasts are taking to the floor for the second half. You can see the Gadarova twins there. We've got Jessica and Jennifer in this final. But we're going to watch... BBC Bite Size has everything from my life to my discoveries. Gravity! There are even games to help you learn. So, from reception... To smashing exams. We make homework more... From starting school to leaving school and everything in between. We've got you. Learn now on BBC Bite Size. Now on BBC One, at first... Lying off the coast of eastern Australia, the Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest expanse of coral reefs. But this extraordinary place, and all the life that it supports, is under threat like never before. Some experts predict we could lose it all in just 30 years. To find out what's being done to save one of the Earth's greatest natural wonders. Of the World Gymnastics Championships, you join us halfway through the women's floor final. This is the fourth highest qualifier, Jordan Childs, hoping to go into the lead. She needs a score of over 13.733 to knock Rebecca Andrade of Brazil off the top spot. And a superb tumbler. Here we go. One and a half walk out. Full twisting, double back, super landing. Very contemporary choreography and wonderful tumbling, double straight with full twist. Good control on the spin. You have to count three spins or leaps. Here come the leaps. The hop full turn. And super to Jete with the extra turn. Very powerful gymnast. Straight front walk out, up into the double tuck. You have to do forward and backward tumbles. Oh, dramatic to the end. No real errors. She's laid down a strong challenge. Well, what a bid for a medal there from the 21-year-old. She took a silver on vault. See the power there. A pair of them were up on the top spot. Could it be the same story here on floor? Well, Team USA are renowned for their floor work. The 
for me, much more graceful than we've seen in the past. Really exciting routine to watch. The one and a half twist walk out into full twisting double back. Such a difficult skill. Good well to keep with inside the floor area throughout the routine. I've seen a few gymnasts just get a little bit of a kick back off the floor. But not here. Full twisting double back in the straight position. Five eight difficulty in qualification, so it definitely will contend. I think really we're going to see a new leader here, Christine. Yes, I think I would expect to. There weren't any major problems. That that that's a, a bit of an untidy leap, and I'm surprised she uses it really. The second one was much better. But when you lift your leg up in the air and hop full turn with it, you really need to have your legs straight and your toe pointed. Those are the little areas the judges deduct. Well, it's a real chance for the USA here because they've really dominated the individual apparatus finals. But that was a lovely floor routine. It had a bit of everything. What will it be? Oh, 13.833 is not as high as some were expecting, but it goes into the lead. Jordan Childs leads Rebecca Andrade, Naomi Visser in that third place spot with 13.666. Jade Carey, the Olympic floor champion, took gold on vault to beat Jordan Childs. She had her silver back in 2017, so a long and fine pedigree on this piece. And this is the gymnast with the biggest tumbling in the competition. She had a 6.1 difficulty score. And this is the big opening tumble. Round off backflip. Two straight somersaults with a double twist. But she has to dance expressively. Here we have another huge tumble. Double straight with full twist. She lands perfectly. Good control on the leaps. Lovely straight front somersault into a sky-high double tap. She's fulfilled those requirements. Big dramatic piece of music. Oh, huge full twisting double back to finish. It was dramatic to the end, and what drama we are seeing here in this floor final. The Americans are done, and they're going to make way for the British, because Jennifer and Jessica Gadarova are next up. Well, wow. She's raised the bar, definitely 6.1. She had in qualification for the difficulty, and she certainly has the firepower. It's a big score. Surely the Americans are going to be leading here. Jordan Charles has that score of 13.833. Jed Carey in qualification put in a 14.066. She's posted a 14.1 and a 14.166, Chris. Yeah, and this her tumbling is superb. Her landings are great. She she doesn't leap and do the leaps in quite the same effortless way mm -hmm. as we've seen some gymnasts. And they the judges seem to have deducted her over this championships quite heavily for, I wouldn't say lack of artistry, but for um, not use of the whole body. You have to sort of move with your core, your head, your arms, elongate every movement. She's worked hard at that. You see, very nice there. She finishes with the fingers, but they're very, uh, they're 
very much looking for a whole body performance. Interestingly, Craig, uh, Jordan Charles and Jid Carey, very similar scores here at these championships on floor. Did she do better than Charles there in your eyes? Uh, yes, I think so. But for the routine, I, I prefer the routine of Charles, to be honest. For me, it had a bit more movement of the body, what Christine was talking about. It's really difficult to get a good E score. They've only won gymnast, scored an eight. Everybody else has been high sevens on the e-score so the judges are really looking at the interpretation of the music and if she goes ahead it will be for me because of the difficulty mm. that she posts but uh, yeah i absolutely love the routine of childs where's that baby <laughs> it's an i tell you what it's an anxious wait because it was all about the team the other day this one's very much about the individuals and it's uh yeah, they're training partners, but they're against each other here, Chris. Oh, absolutely. And the next two are twin sisters. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, you're bad enough training with somebody living in the same house. Yeah. Well, Jen is up next, but she can't go. Twin power. Love it. <laughs> she can't go until Jid Carey's score is in. I know Jessica will not be looking at the scoreboard. I did actually think that Jordan Charles would go higher than that. Mm, mm, me too. Oh, it's 13-8-3-3. It's exactly the same score, but because Jade Carey has a higher difficulty, Jordan Charles wins on execution. So, same score, but Charles leads. Well, I, I, t I said you were going to see some drama here, but goodness me, this is another level. Well, here we go then. Next to the floor, the penultimate gymnast in this final is Jennifer Gadarova of Great Britain, European and Olympic finalist, here as a floor world finalist. And great tumbler, and also projects really well. She's got a power down here for this first tumble. Double straight, makes the landing. Super high with the jump. Now another big tumble on its way. Full twisting, double back. Just the step off. Super split and height. Oh, strongly. Selling this floor, all the facial expressions. From Summy Walkout needs to power high into the double back. She does. Well, great performance from Jen there. She she was a little short on that first landing, but gave everything to the rest of it. She sold it beautifully. She really did give it everything. Her only final here played a big part in the British team, winning that historic silver in the all-around competition. And looking absolutely superb, glittering here in the arena at the World Championships in Liverpool. And what a crowd pleaser. Certainly was. You talk about the marks for selling the performance to the judges well that must tick most of the boxes there just a few little adjustments on the landings and we know that uh, been a bit harsh getting the big scores in the floor there that's a point one out as well might just keep it outside of the top three well the score in third is Andrage at 13.733 Such a powerful gymnast, though, to work out of a somersault, especially in the straight position, into a double somersault. Mm. 
and very expressive as well. And that's what the judges are looking for. And it's a very fast and moving routine. It's not at all static. So it's busy. And she really does sell it and enjoy it. Uh, you feed off her enthusiasm. You really do. Carries there, 13.733. Her score, the same. And that has been downgraded, actually. It's been downgraded. It's now tied with Andrade. So Charles leads 13.833. Andrade second, 13.733 with the same difficulty. 13.166 for Jennifer Gadarova. Well, this member of the crowd will be very pleased to see that the second twin sister is up now. Taking to the floor the World Championships here. The last gymnast. It's Jessica Gadarova for Great Britain. And a real chance of a world medal here. Two-time European champion. This a very big tumble for Jess. She punches. Double twisting, double back. And here the second of a big powerful tumbles, double straight with full twist. Fabulous landing. Good split on the leaps. Changes tempo very nicely. <laughs> Clean with the landings. Just one last big tumble. Come on, Jess. Full twist front, power it out into the double puck tuck. Lovely work. Great performance from Jessica Gadarova. So difficult, so charismatic. Packed with difficulty. Jen cheering on from the sidelines. Well, it is done. All the hard work, all the training went into that performance. And it's now in the hands of the judges. Has Jessica Gadarova just won herself a world medal on floor? She needs 13.733, as she has the same difficulty as Andrade and Carey, who tie at the moment. So, Jordan Charles leads 13.833, and two gymnasts are tied on the same difficulty with 13.733. What fantastic tumbling as well. Opens up, the routine sparkles as much as a leotard. Crammed with difficulty and such an entertaining routine to watch. We're on our feet here, probably most of the arena as well. Hugely difficult, double back. With a full twist in the straight position. When we talk about the body movement, Christine, and using every part of the body, well, for me, she ticks all the boxes. Yes, she does. She she sells the routine. It's non-stop movement with the whole of the body, the head, the shoulders, everything. And that's very much why she scored so well. Not out of 14 in this floor final. And the judges seem to be holding the scores low. Well, Beth took gold in 09 on floor. Fragapani 
a bronze in 2017. How's Jessica got her over, got herself a medal? She's got gold! Jessica Gadarova is floor world champion! Well, a sixth difficulty, a score of 14.2 is a golden score. It's golden Gadarova. Jessica, absolutely phenomenal floor routine. She was last to go, she kept her focus, and she went in and delivered when it mattered. Our golden girl, Jessica Ganarova, wins the women's floor final. Jordan Childs, she takes the silver with 13.833, a vastly entertaining routine, but it just wasn't enough. And she ties with Re Rebecca Andrade.